Hello, welcome to the channel QPK News, please subscribe to the channel to follow the latest news of the day. San TODS Director, Double-Sided Suzhou Embroidery, Speak Chinese at the Gucci Show. Xiao Zhan devoted himself to cultural output, Xiao Zhan is not the only artist who went to Milan Fashion Week. But he is the only artist who brought the excellent Chinese culture abroad. The first is the Chinese image. There is no colorful hair, no weird clothes, a standard oriental face just appears in the Italian crowd. Especially compared with the four western-faced bodyguards, the oriental aesthetics directly detonated the West. On Xiao Zhan's overseas social platform, he posted the Sichuan cuisine of his hometown to show Chinese food to the world. This combination of Chinese stomach and Chinese face is more appropriate, secondly. When the director of TODS posted the gift Xiao Zhan gave him on his social account and wrote I am grateful, Xiao Zhan is very happy that we can become friends, netizens looked at the gift carefully and found out that is at the Suzhou embroidery of our country. We're double-sided. The brand of this gift is Guwu Embroidery Emperor, which is a hand-embroidered brand founded by Master Shen Delong. A representative inheritor of the intangible cultural heritage of Sujo embroidery. In the 1990s. This is a deep fusion of embroidery and painting. Sujo has a deep relationship with Italy. In the past, Marco Polo called Sujo Oriental Venice in his travel notes. In the 1980s, Sujo and Venice became sister cities. Sujo embroidery is one of the four famous embroidery in China. Whale is the classic theme of double-sided embroidery. Fish, in traditional Chinese culture, means more than one year after another, so it is a perfect gift for partners. To be able to give such a gift to TODS director, Xiao Zhan definitely put his heart into it, finally, at the end of the Gucci show. When countless show participants answered the question Gucci is, other people's answers. No matter whether they were short or long, were all in English. When Xiao Zhan faced this semi-proposition, the answer is Gucci is infinite possibilities. To be able to interview and speak Chinese in such a place, neither humble nor overbearing. However, at the same time, there are Heisei who only use Chinese when Xiao Zhan's English is not good enough. Maybe they really don't know that Xiao Zhan wanted to study abroad before entering the entertainment industry? What's more? He can communicate with the bosses of TODS and Gucci in Milan without barriers. When answering the question Gucci is, he speaks Chinese gracefully, without arrogance or rashness, and shows the world the strong confidence of the Chinese nation with his actions. He can talk and laugh happily with the bigwigs in the fashion circle in the show. And he can also promote Chinese culture without being humble. This kind of integrity is admirable enough. Obviously, Xiao Zhan has done excellent cultural export overseas. He not only understands the culture of his own country, but also understands the cultural genes of the brand. He knows how to perfectly display his oriental face in a place full of western faces. Show unique Chinese specialties on the social platform that overseas people all over the world pay attention to. Know how to shout out the language that belongs to your own country at the Gucci show that is full of people. And know how to send unique dishes that belong to your own country in interpersonal communication, cultural output. Xiao Zhang's influence is not only in China, but also in the whole world. When the eyes of the whole world are focused on Xiao Zhang, he is showing his oriental characteristics in every aspect. Thank you for choosing to watch my video. Goodbye and see you again. Nervous.